Hello guys, my name is Vijay. I am working as Senior Lead Engineer in Episero. In this session, let us discuss about these five interview questions on MuleSoft. Uh, before we go ahead, right, I request you to have a glance at the at this playlist. So I have already created four uh, MuleSoft interview question video series, and also along with that, right, uh, uh, I have created. Uh, four parts on data view 2.0 interview questions so you can go through all these things so these are specific uh, for data view itself and these are like mule soft interview questions uh, this will be added to this playlist as part 5 let's go ahead with the 41st question that is what is target variable the definition is target variable is used to store the contents of service call in earlier versions of mule message enricher component was used to achieve this so this is the simple application that i have created and you see here we have listener a simple logger request which is point which is which will be requesting to this particular flow and will get a response back and a, a logger here so this application i have already deployed and if i if i show you the configuration right i have defined uh, two listener configurations because uh, when you have two listeners right within one mule applications you cannot have same port if you see uh, this particular listener is have uh, is listening on 8081 port and the second configuration that is config one is listening on 8082 port okay and request configuration in order to make a re uh, request call from http request to this listener uh, we have a separate configuration for http request component as well now i have deployed this application already okay now let me send a request to this application so this is the sample message uh, we have three key, three key value pairs sender message and receiver now uh, let me make a request so before that right let's discuss a bit on uh, target variable so as mentioned in the definition right it, it saves the response from a service call now we are making a call from HTTP uh, from this uh, processor to this particular flow. Okay. Now we'll get some response back to this particular uh, processor, right? So we can uh, we we can we'll be able to save this the response actually. So if you see if you don't put this target variable, right? Uh, uh, what happens is that uh, this particular payload that means whatever the response that comes from this uh, uh, flow will become a payload after this processor that is after http request if you don't use uh, a variable here the response that comes from this flow uh, will become the payload now uh, let me make a request so what happens though we get some response right here i'm printing the payload okay so that means um, whatever is the payload that comes uh, within this flow that enters in, into this flow that will become the payload here as well okay so let me make a request click on send see uh, because this is from the first logger that is this one this is from the second logger that is this one so because we have captured the response within a variable okay and we are trying to print the payload here that's why uh, whatever the payload is there here uh, that is that has become the payload here as well now if i remove if i remove this particular variable right let me, so now whatever the response that comes from here so what i have done here in the set payload i have i configured this high uh, concatenate with payload dot message now within payload dot message it is like hello okay now from he, here uh, when when this particular logger uh, prints the uh, output right uh, i mean when it logs right we'll see the input payload that is this one and uh, here we'll see the uh, the enriched response okay the response from this uh, this flow to this particular request because we are not using the uh, target variable okay let me send the request see now it is like hi hello okay so uh, this is what i have said so let's go ahead with the next question in which time zone mulesoft scheduler runs schedulers use the same time zone as the machine on which mule is running okay um i mean 
if you if you deploy your mule applications in on prem right the scheduler uh, will follow that particular time zone where uh, your on prem um, uh, mule runtime uh, i mean so it is executing okay now if you deploy uh, the mule application to the cloud hub right uh, what happens is that the scheduler conforms to the utc time zone irrespective of the region that you are deploying your mule application into you see that is what they mentioned right regardless of the geographic region in which the application is running okay so uh, the answer is that uh, by default mule soft scheduler runs in utc time zone let's go ahead with the next question that is explain about q1 topic so q is that um, exchange of messages happens between a single uh, sender or producer and a single receiver or we call these as consumers via a q okay so uh, it is basically a point to point communication now yeah if if you see about uh, if you see this uh, diagram right uh, the sender is sending a message and we are actually pushing uh, the message into the queue now um, ideally uh, only once uh, consumer will be there but by any chance if multiple consumers uh, are there for a queue right uh, what happens is that uh, only one consumer will be able to pick the message at a time okay so these two will be in the competition and whoever picks up right uh, i mean only one will be one uh, will be able to pick up the message and they will acknowledge it. and that way the uh, message will be removed from the queue okay now if we if we talk about topic right uh, so when publisher that is this guy sends a message to the topic uh, that is this one all the subscribers whoever are subscribed to the topic will receive the message so here uh, three subscribers are there and you can have a number of subscribers okay and all the subscribers will receive the same message it's like broadcasting you are actually broadcasting the, the same message to all the subscribers now here the terms are important uh, that is uh, i mean here it is like publish and subscriber that is why we call it as pub sub model and you see here it is like one to many so one publisher many subscribers and here basically though i have put uh, the diagram in this way uh, uh, okay uh, but only one uh, consumer will be able to consume one message at a time you cannot send uh, the same uh, message to multiple consumers if you want to send you have to use topic okay let's go ahead with the 44th question that is how can you raise error explicitly in mule flow or subflow so by using raise error component uh, we can raise the error explicitly uh, let's see the demo on the same uh, i have prepared this flow uh, http listener and a logger and we have a choice route uh, we are our intention is to raise an error if if the age that we are passing from the request right if it is uh, not greater than or equal to 18 we are going to raise an error now we'll see how to raise an error explicitly so yeah we can use this raise error component and you can type raise here it is part of core module you could see that here so mm, let me send a request you see here uh, let me pass 18 and see the response so 200 okay so we are good uh, because uh, within the choice route right it has gone with the the very first uh, route so that's why there is no issue now for example if our requirement is to halt the further process if, if the water age is less than 18 right then we can use raise error so that we can uh, raise the error explicitly let me pass the input as 17 which is uh, less than 18 so so now we will get an error we see 500 server error and because the namespace is voting here and the type is not eligible um, okay so that's why i got this error voting colon not eligible so this way you can use raise error uh, within uh, a flow or you can also use uh, within the subflow as well in the same fashion
let's go ahead with the next question uh, what is scatter gather how it works in detail scatter gather broadcasts the event to different routes and collects the result from all the routes and sends it further to the next processor uh, let's see a bit of demo on the same this is the sample application that i have created http listener and one scatter gather we have three routes here and all the routes are containing set payload and finally i'm setting the payload i'm converting it to json format and that is what i'm trying to log here now this is the flow level error handler uh, which is with honor continue and here uh, i'm trying to log uh, error dot error type if any error occurs right uh, the control will come here and it will log the error type and here i'm um, my intention is to log the log the failed route and here i would like to log the successful route uh, yeah so let me send this sample request i am using some payload but here uh, we are not depending upon the payload i mean we are not doing anything on the payload so you can send any payload for the time being send the payload we got successful response and if you see here right this is the it's like an an object okay and uh, zero represents the the very first route and one represents the second route and it goes on and the corresponding value is the is the mule event that has uh, generated from the first route and uh, the second uh, value is this value is the mule event that got generated from the second route and it goes on okay so this is the final outcome uh, because we have three routes right the last index or the last key is uh, two okay so this is the happy path okay now what i will do uh, let me try to set this as a zero so it uh, an error will occur here and uh, the control will come to this point and we'll see about this the application got deployed after i made this chain now an error will occur here so let me send the request okay uh, you see this the status is 200 because uh, it is an honor continue and if you see here right uh, the error is with this message division by 0 10 by 0 okay and uh, so the control has come here and if you see uh, we could see three log three infos one is one two and three from the first uh, logger right you see we could see something like mule colon composite routing so that's what i have mentioned here if any branch fails then it gives mule composite routing exception or error there there is no exception yeah now if we talk about the other two loggers right uh, this logger is actually logging the uh, the index or the key the index of where the failure has occurred uh, and th this logger it is actually logging the uh, successful routes indexes okay so basically if you see the expression right it is like error dot error message dot payload dot failures and results but if you use this right uh, it will it will log the both the key value pair okay where the value is again a mule event so which i do not want i only want to log the key uh, that's why you could see the indexes or the corresponding routes now the failure has occurred in the first route that is uh, the second route in actual and the success and the successful routes are the the first route and the third route that is why you see with indexes 0 and 2 respectively so that's all about uh, uh, scatter gather and uh, its functionality i'll come up with a few more interview questions in my next video thank you so much